I used to think was for tough people. Like, brother was tough, other people's tough, it's hard, you know? I've lost a lot of people, it's tough, they're tough. It's really being a coward, man. Before we get started, never turn to a permanent solution for a temporary problem. I think we all can agree that JDF passing came as a surprise to us. Somewhat of a huge shock considering he had so much going for him before he made that dreadful decision. It's almost unbelievable. When Christopher Christensen jumped from a parking structure at Disneyland, he left a note on Facebook saying it was his wife's false allegation and our flawed legal system that were the catalyst for his action. With JDF, we got no note, just his wife saying they reconciled during their weekend getaway. Most people did not believe her, so now she's saying that he was sad for 23 years and she saved his life plenty of times. JDF has some of the best fans in the world and one fan in particular sent me a lowly view video that only a, maybe a hundred people saw about how he felt about those who self-deleted. This video is a year old, but it may surprise you and it also could help those who are down and out to overcome their own negative thoughts. Share this clip, it needs to go viral. Um, how did I overcome depression, Peter? Pfft. Don't. It's a constant battle, dude. People that go to church here and there, I remember my life changed. I'm not getting religious. I don't really care. It's relationships to whatever you have relationships to, whatever your outlet is. I just know one thing. It was like, are you a fighter? I was like, yeah, I'm a fighter. You fight the, you fight the devil? Yeah, all the time. They said, well, people come to church one, one time. Oh, praise God, pray, and they leave. That's why I don't talk about it. Because everyone looks and is like, hypocrite, hypocrite. It's like, you know what you got to do is you got to consistently fight the devil 24-7. 24-7. You got to fight your depression 24-7. And I had someone tell me once, not long ago. That kind of changed my life. Everyone could tell me everything. Um, but I had one particular guy. This is a tough guy. You know, tell me straight out, I will hate you if anything ever happens to you. I will freaking, he didn't use the word freaking, hate you. As a celebrity, you have an obligation to people, to your fans, and to your family. And I've lost my brother. I've lost a lot of people with unanswered questions. And I realized why I listened to this particular individual it's because he told me just straight out and things click so sometimes people always tell you do this do that do this so you constantly fight your depression but after that day I was like yeah something I'm going to share to you I will hate you yeah I don't say the word hate ever I will hate you if something happens to you I used to think was for tough people like, brother was tough, other people's tough, it's hard, you know, I've lost a lot of people, it's tough, they're tough, it's really being a coward, man, I hate saying that, and I, I hate admitting it, but it really is, it's just, it's, it's cowardly to leave people behind and wonder, and when these celebrities kill themselves, do you realize how many fans are hurt, and how many fans are killing themselves because that particular actor tough? So I'm talking about depression, I'm talking about anxiety, I'm talking about ADD, I'm talking about everything people don't talk about. That's what's going on right now. It's like this, that, the protest, like, I get it. Mental health is at an all time high. So the answer to your question is consistently fight it, fight it. JDF was a lot of things, but we all know he was not a coward. But I know some people will still be skeptical and say, well, he may have changed his mind. Okay, great. So I did some more digging. I found this video posted on July 21st, 2022 on the Legend of the White Dragon Instagram page promoting an appearance for the weekend after his passing. Paraguay, what is happening? It is JDF, the Green Ranger, White Ranger, Red Ranger, Red Zeal, Black Dino Thunder. Now my new movie, the Legend of the White Dragon. Guys, I am gonna be posting like crazy. I'm so excited to see you guys November 25th, 26th, and 27th. I'm so excited to see you guys November 25th, 26th, and 27th. Q&A, autographs, it's gonna be amazing. So I can't wait to see you guys. Join us and you can get your tickets. You know what time it is? It's morphin' time. See you guys. 
After he posted that video in July, we know in August he was served divorce papers at Comic-Con, which his widow confirmed, but some people think it had no impact on his decision. Mm. Another reason he would not self-delete is because he loved his daughter Jenna, but he also loved his first daughter Sky too. Most people thought he only had one daughter, but he has four kids total, Sky and Hunter and Jacob Frank. I can't find any information on them anywhere. Lastly, his project Legend of the White Dragon was just finished being filmed and scheduled to debut sometimes in 2023. He had been promoting it a bunch on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, pretty much anywhere he could, he was promoting this movie. This movie was crowdfunded and it took him 10 years to get all the funding and get all the pieces in place. It also featured his daughter, Jenna, in the movie. You got. Good job, Jenna. I know you worked hard in the movie. You did an amazing two days. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of everybody. This is going to be an amazing project. Legend of my Dragon, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> just like me. Just just like, just like. With those three things in mind, he had plenty of reasons to live. Not to mention, if his wife is speaking the truth, they were reconciling that weekend. Hi, this is Tammy. And... Stop! I'm using her IG account. Freaking annoying. Stop. Don't worry, guys. I'm still talking to you guys through her phone as I'm waiting for my lost phone. Tammy's beating me up. Go ahead, show people, show people how you really act. Show people, show people, show people how you really act. This video is not me saying he did not self-delete, just sharing that he has so much to live for and it's odd for him to make such a decision. I am still searching for information of his passing. If you have something to share, send me an email at henryrezillion at gmail.com or you can reach out to me on Instagram. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Me, because I'm not, you know, I stand up here on a stage a little higher, but I'm not higher than you guys. I put my spandex on one leg at a time like you. <laughs> Even though on Power Rangers, you think, man, I morphed, it took a long time. And just imagine, and just imagine being in the Green Ranger suit. Now we have a shield, now we have these arm things. You know what I'm talking about, right? We got it zipped up, and now you're like, I drank too much water, I need to go to the bathroom. And everyone's like, oh my gosh. So I learned to not go to the bathroom in the Green Ranger suit. <laughs> until some genius created a little zipper. Not on my days. <laughs> We didn't have Google, we didn't have Instagram, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have zippers.